We live on an incredible planet that has amazing physical diversity. It has towering mountains, flat plains, and deep canyons and valleys. How were these landforms created? Why were they created there? Plate tectonics can answer both these questions. Before we get into the why and how, let's review the two types of plates on our planet. First, we have the oceanic plates, which are thin, very dense plates found under the world's oceans. Continental plates are thick, slightly dense plates that form the continents and their continental shelves. As the plates move across the mantle, they converge or collide with and diverge or separate from each other. These actions create and shape the world's landforms. Where two plates converge or collide with each other, this is called a convergent plate boundary. This type of boundary creates four main types of landforms. When an oceanic plate converges with either a continental plate or another oceanic plate, the more dense oceanic plate will subduct under the less dense continental plate or oceanic plate. As the dense oceanic plate subducts, it will pull down the front edge of the less dense plate. This pull down will create a deep ocean trench. An example of this can be found off the west coast of North America. Here, the more dense Juan de Fuca oceanic plate is converging with the less dense North American continental plate. The Juan de Fuca plate is subducting under the North American plate and pulling the front edge of the North American plate down, thus creating the Cascadia Deep Ocean Trench. Where an oceanic plate and continental plate converge, they also create volcanoes. As the more dense oceanic plate subducts under the less dense continental plate, it is driven down into the hot mantle. The oceanic plate is melted due to the extreme heat and pressure. As we have learned, when liquids or gases are heated, they rise or go up. So, as the plate melts, the molten rock rises up and forces its way to the surface, creating volcanoes. Thus, the convergence of the Juan de Fuca plate and the North American plate has also created the Cascade Mountains, which contain many volcanoes on the west coast of the United States. One of the most famous volcanoes in the range is Mount St. Helens in Washington State. When two oceanic plates converge, the same process that forms volcanoes on land occurs. As the melted oceanic plate reaches the surface of the other ocean plate, cools and creates a small undersea hill. As this process repeats, the hill continues to grow and it may break the surface of the ocean, thus creating a chain of islands along the subduction zone. A great example of this would be the Japanese archipelago. When two continental plates converge, neither one is dense enough to subduct under the other. As a result, the continental crust folds upward as it has nowhere else to go. This creates a chain of folded mountains. Think of two cars crashing into each other head on. This action is similar to the physical force that creates folded mountains. The most famous folded mountains are the Himalayas. Here, the Indian plate is converging with the Asian plate pushing the Himalayas higher and higher. As a result, even today, Mount Everest is growing roughly 1.3 centimeters a year. The last two landforms that we will talk about are formed by diverging or separating plates. When two continental plates pull apart or diverge from each other, it stretches the crust so that it becomes thinner. The crust will break or fall and create a rift valley. As the crust is stretched wider, the valley will deepen, and if it gets too deep, will create a new body of water. One of the best examples of this today is the rift valley in Africa. 
Eventually, the plates will separate enough that the valley will be so low that it will allow the ocean to rush in, thus separating the eastern part of Africa from the rest. The second type of landform caused by plate separating is a mid-ocean ridge. This is formed when two oceanic plates are pulling apart. As the plates move apart, this leaves a gap between them, which allows magma to rise to the surface. When the magma gets to the surface, it turns to lava and cools, creating new rock. As this cycle continues spreading the seafloor, it will continue to add new material to the plate. The material can build up and form a chain of mountains. If the mountains break the surface of the ocean, it will create new lands. A great example of this is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. As it is pulling apart, it is gradually creating new land. In areas of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, the new land has broken the surface of the ocean to form what we call Iceland. Our world is constantly changing due to the tectonic activity in our crust. What will it look like in the future?